الله أكبر الله أكبر right hello oh, okay this guy is not Allah Akbar how are you my friend yeah I'm fine how are you CP I'm all right yeah cool well listen mate I've been listening to you over the past couple of days and I just wanted you to I mean show me how uh, how like false Islam is because I'm on the I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence right now you are on the fence I'm on the fence I'm in between like continuing on or not to continue and I'm not I'm not I'm not sure so you are a Muslim now I don't want to say why are you gonna say come on share with us so I would know I'm talking to what like what is your religion now you are a Muslim right now right well let's just say that uh, okay, let, 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 okay you see I advise you to stay as a Muslim because only the true God he promised us to have a lot of women for sex I mean obvious okay because God must be coming from Las Vegas only true God can do that and not only that I mean this God he have a very special uh, prescription for you I mean he promised you even that your penis will never go limp I mean that's amazing this God he think about us in every details and he don't want your penis to go sleep what do you think about yeah, that my friend well listen I mean this is the exact thing that it doesn't see uh, quite well with me I mean I've, I've been reading a couple of of you know the hadiths and the Quran and all that but <clears throat> Again, I mean, just just because of peer pressure, I haven't said anything. I don't want to. I don't want to, you know. Uh, I don't want to cause like a conflict in, in in my family. My friend, let me ask you a question. Do you like child abuse? No, of course not. Okay, when the God of Islam, which is supposed to be your God, he promised you in the heaven that you will have little boys, according to Muslim, to serve you. Are you an, are you going to be happy to have? A lot of boys who they would be your servant for eternity is that no, something really? okay no, no, so no, what no, what, what is the ethic in here shouldn't, shouldn't we discuss the ethic of this God because a God with good ethic he will not let me just because I prayed for him uh, five times and uh, I accept to say Shahada then he will abuse little children and he will make them my slaves for eternity what, what is justice in that? Can't he make me happy without abusing someone else? Correct. Correct. So this is going to be from God. I mean, you do not need to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like a genius to fire, fire it out. I mean, this is a guy. He is promising me women who I never met, who, children who I never have. They are not even my children. And they will serve me for eternity. The women, she will take off her panty. And the child, he will serve me supposedly, according to Muslims claiming, but doesn't make sense for me because the Quran says, which means they will not bleed so what kind of God to make one person happy he abuse tens of thousands correct correct I understand I, I can see that the logic is a bit perverted I understand that and same time why those boys they have to be very white why they are white simply Muhammad is trying to speak to the sexual desire of the Arab those boys are not really going to be servants. You see here the Muslim translation. I don't know if you can see my screen in chapter 37. So, first sorry, you mean like white as in color? Yeah, they will be white like pearls. Oh, well. Yeah. The Quran well, that says. That automatically sounds a little bit racist. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, and they, will, they, will be, they will be literally like pearls. You know, it says here in front of you. Do you see it says? And, oh, yeah, yeah. I can see, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you see, even like here they say uh, uh, but the fact they what the, the word eggs, uh, you know, they say to you, uh, you know, because eggs are very white, right? Correct. Okay, so they say to you, they are like the same as an eggs, which is closely guarded, uh, uh, and uh, which means they have a very soft skin. They have, uh, uh, you know, even Allah in the hadith says, Allah, He will soften their skin. He would take Him 1,000 years to soften their skin. Oh, so, wow. and this is telling us what kind of God is God. I mean, you just go and buy some Nivea, and but that will fix the issue if you have a problem. And why you don't create them right away? They are with soft skin, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, you know. So, everything in this cult is, is stupid and crazy. Uh, uh, even Muhammad, yeah, well, Muhammad well, listen, he said, I, I, I can't say this out aloud because you know, I don't want to cause, um, as I said before, a huge friction in my family. 
well uh, my friend your family but uh, here we talk about uh, you know we have to be smart i don't want to say something to offend you but we have to be smart okay if my family believe in something stupid should i be stupid too no of course not okay course not. so here we go look look in front of me the prophet he said here and this is sahih bukhari this is sahih hadith that allah will marry you to women uh, who have no jealousy okay okay if read in arabic i have no idea about arabic yeah well we go to the english then it says to make it simple that allah will give you women who they are so beautiful and the beauty of them is not a beauty normal beauty is a beauty of making you sick because the arab they like women who they are so white so muhammad here he's a promise in the arab he knew what they like he himself he like a, a very white women so he promised them women who they are transparent so they are white to the point they are transparent and you can see the marrow of their bones of their legs this is how mm -hmm. and even seen through the bones of the flesh so muhammad here if this is a promise of god why god promising me women they are so white to the point we can see the marrow of their bones unless he is racist what's wrong if i have a woman with darker skin in heaven true why the beauty in islam is about very white to the point became disgusting because uh, uh you know when you say to me that those women they are so white to the point they are transparent you are confirming to me one thing that this god he considered the beauty is the beauty of such a woman any other woman she is not beautiful and you know if you look at the at, at the description muhammad trying to provide to us we will find that this is even sick because uh, let me show you how the women look like according to muhammad heaven okay do you see the screen yes okay this is exactly what the heaven of allah is this is the women you will have in heaven this is god <laughs> oh no no okay no, it, 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 it's just too much yeah and yeah. but listen i mean th th this is where this is where the whole islam thing doesn't sit well with me and like internally because i know it's it revolves around the too much bodily bodily pleasures and i don't know i don't know it's just, just very i understand the whole praying thing even though i don't uh don't, don't uh, sub sub subscribe to that as much but i mean I understand the, that, well, that through prayer we can reach uh, God and we can reach Allah, but this is where it loses me from you know from the sex stuff and onwards it, it completely loses me. My friend, it's not, it, there is no prayer in Islam. You are reaching Allah. This is a, this is a joke because uh, a Muslim he fast, he pray, he do jihad just to get the women who you can see through. You see, when I say to you the reward. If you do this, the reward is this. It's mean if you do that, this is the this is the purpose. This is the purpose. You see, when they ask Jesus about what you will have in heaven, what what he and she like a woman, she get married from a first husband, then she married the second one after he die. So who is going to have her? Jesus said to them, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. So the, the your reward have nothing to do. The reward you have in the heaven is not physical, is not sexual. Is just being with God, happy a different kind of happiness. But in the in the in the religion of Islam, why you do righteousness? Because you want to get the women. Why you want to do jihad? Because if you do jihad, you get more women. Why you want to join Al Qaeda? Because that will make you increase in the level in the eye of Allah. If you became a murderer, if you the second the second your blood is shed, according to Muhammad, right away all your sin is forgiven, and Allah grant you a, a high rank in the heaven. So. <clears throat> The Muslims, uh, they are not really serving Allah, they are serving themselves. The purpose is to get those women, the virgins. This is why if you see Al-Qaeda tapes, they are trying, they didn't say to them, you know, we are going to do jihad for, no, they say to them, brother, the whore, the whore will come to you and they will fight over you. One will be kissing your, your lips, one will be kissing your, your neck, one is going to kiss your billy bomb and you know, like he continues speaking filthy yeah, dirty yeah. language. So. Yeah, yeah. Why he is saying that before the battle? Because he wants you not to think about your death. He wants you to go and die. Just go. And now you are not dying really for the sake of Allah. You are dying for the sake of your penis. True, true, <laughs> true. 
So if Muhammad really is a prophet of God, what is God in his religion? Where is this God? I want to see this God. Otherwise, I see beautiful naked women. And uh, uh, not only that, Muhammad, he promised you that he will import certain kind of women who they are prostitutes, who they are special, their specialty is sex. Who they are, Allah will take but, them from but heaven. He, but he's, isn't, isn't prostitution a, a sin in Islam? No. Who said that? Absolutely not. Actually, Islam legalized prostitution. No, 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 no. That that's like okay, but it's still it's it's still like a marriage. I'm I'm like like. Uh, no, 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 no. Say, I'm not talking about muta now. I'm not talking about muta now, friend. I'm talking about literally prostitution, literally prostitution. The Quran speak about prostitution and say the following. I want you to read with me in the screen. I don't say things without proof. You, I, if you are following me for a while now, you should know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am. This is a chapter twenty-four, and verse number thirty-three. It says it clearly. Force not your girls, your maid, and those are slaves' girls. So notice here the prostitution have a condition. If you have a slave girl, you can use her for prostitution, but this is not for the free women. So, but force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity. So what is the condition? If they desire chastity, don't, for, don't force them. If they don't, it's okay. All right, True. and not only that, if you force them and they don't desire chastity, Allah is all merciful. There's no punishment for a Muslim do prostitution as long as he is using his slaves. If you use a free woman, a free white woman for a slavery of sex, then you will be punished. This is adultery. Okay, but if you use a slave woman for prostitution, this is halal. Oh, well. This is what they've been they've, they've been covering, and they, whenever I've asked questions about you know all these issues, they're like, eh, no, no, don't worry, and it's uh, all for the sake of Allah, and it's all for the sake of you know for the believers. I'm like, okay, be more clear about it. You know, there's a hadith about Aisha herself. She used to hunt men by sending a slave girl. It says uh, Aisha shawa fajaria wa tafat biha wa qalat la alla nastadu biha shababa min Quraysh. So Aisha, she uh, 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 she decorated, which means she put the makeup on a slave girl, uh, uh, and she said, and she ordered her to uh, go around so the, the young men uh, of Quraysh, they will follow her, and she said, let us send her between them, maybe we can, uh, we can hunt some men from Quraysh. So this is very normal behavior Muslims they used to do, and all the Muslims agree that Muhammad himself, he have many slaves and he sleep with them. Okay. But but the Quran confirmed literally that you can do prostitution as long you are uh, uh, not forcing them. And if you force them, Allah is all forgiving or merciful. If we go right now and we see the interpretation for this verse. CP, sorry, CP. We've all, we're always like, you know, hearing about uh, <laughs> if, if our law, if... Uh, Sharia law is uh, implemented, then it will be auto automatically ban uh, ban uh, prostitution, it will ban alcohol, and all those bad devices of life. So, how can, on the one hand, uh, our imams say that they're going to ban prostitution? On the other hand, it's halal. Hmm. Well, you know what what Islam does: prostitution is not allowed if you're not doing it according to the Islamic rules. As an example, okay. the Muslims, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding from your accent that you live in England, right? I don't want to say mate. okay no problem so uh, they do they do uh, what it's called zawaj urfi zawaj urfi it's not a really marriage you go and supposedly you speak with a person who is supposedly a sheikh and you say she is my wife and you, you write a paper he said okay your wife go sleep together but this this marriage is not accepted and it is practiced very wide between muslim sunni uh, if you have my book which is called uh, uh, sex and allah you will find how many type of marriage the Muslims they call marriage, but the fact it's nothing but a pure prostitution. As an example, there's something that's called zawaj a friend, which means I have a friend, I want to have sex with her. What I would do? I okay. marry her, but she's not my wife, which means she is my wife legally, but it's not the purpose to marry her. The purpose is we sleep together in the hotel every, let us say, a Thursday night. Okay. We, we don't live together. The purpose is sex. She is horny and I am horny. And what we will do now, okay, we go and we do zawaj a friend, which means which mean they took it, actually, they call it zawaj a friend, 
from the word girlfriend. So what the Muslim they change is girlfriend with zawaj. So he, she is a girlfriend to sleep with her, but yet she is a wife supposedly. There is something that's called the, the travel uh, marriage. You are going to go and you will be in different country. And you cannot okay. carry your wife with you for some reason. Maybe she is too heavy. So now what you will do, Quran, Islam allow you that you can hire a woman to be your wife temporarily during the time you are traveling. This way okay. supposedly will prevent you from doing sin. So you go to a woman, you say to her, I want to sleep with you. Uh, but, uh, you know, for I'm going to stay here for six months. Do you have a problem with that? She said, hmm. no, that's it. You do you do what they call marriage. So what the Muslims, they do, all their marriages is not really marriages. It is a pure prostitution. True, true. And also, mate, this like inherited inequality between the man and the woman. I mean, in other words, what I'm saying is that how come only a man is illegally allowed to go and do these type of marriages can i can i can a woman do it from her side as well this is this is this is what it gets me well in uh, in, uh like uh, you see uh, both sides shia and sunni they try to defend their honor and they try to fight over saying we are more honorable than you but both of them they do the amazing stupid thing as an example uh, uh you know if if a woman uh, she don't to have sex with her slave. Actually, there's a story of Muhammad where he heard that a, a Muslim woman, uh, because, you know, the Quran says it's lawful for you, your wives, and your right hand possess. But Muhammad did not mention the word male or female in the verse. So Muslim women, uh, she decide, okay, as long as the verse saying, uh, you can have sex with your right hand process. Will she have slave? Okay. So she decided to have sex with him. When Muhammad he heard that, he ordered her to be brought and he uh, punished her by death. Why? Uh, some they say by death, some they say the Hilashar, I don't know how many times. But, yeah. but here you see the hypocrisy of Muhammad. Why the Muslim man, he can sleep with his slave, female, but a Muslim woman, she cannot sleep with her slave male. Exactly, exactly. Same time, if you read chapter 4, verse number 3, you will see Muhammad promoting something very evil. I don't know if you can read with me on the screen, it says. Yeah, I if, can. If you fear you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphans, then go and do F, 2 and 3 and 4. So Muhammad is encouraging the Muslims to have sexual relationship with orphans. What kind of a prophet? He considered that it is a charity, it's a good deed to do sleep with orphan. And you know, when I say an orphan, and I'm uh, I'm sure your English is better than mine, I mean a child who his parents are dead, correct? Correct, exactly. Not oh, an, I mean, not, yeah, not an correct. adult, not an adult. If if somebody in my age and your age and he have no correct. parents left, that does not make him orphan, correct? Correct, 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 correct. So well, how uh, we can uh, have sex with orphans? Is, is this valid? Is this like a Sahih? This is Quran. This is Quran, my friend. This is a chapter 4, verse number 3. Oh, wow. This is Quran. So, oh, wow. and then he says, and if you cannot if an orphan and do justly with them, then go if 2 and 3 and 4. And then if you cannot be justly, then for 1, what is the value of family? That's mean the, the, the family in Islam is not is not based on man and women. It's based in having as many as you can afford. True. You notice okay, here Muhammad well, did not say go and uh, even the word, by the way, Mary, he did not even mention it. He's saying go and if them. Oh, well, uh, well, listen, CP, I don't want to bother you anymore because I know you've got like uh, the real Abduls that they want to call. Uh, listen, this is just like too much for me about the orphans. I'm probably going to have to declare right now my apostasy okay i uh, i don't know what I, what i'm gonna what i'm gonna choose afterwards but for the time being i'm gonna have to say okay this is not what, what, what once you mentioned orphans and uh, three and four afterwards i mean no no so i'm sorry this is this is too much for me all right my friend 
Well, uh, you said you don't know what to choose after, but for me, I have a duty to invite you to accept my Lord, my Savior, the Messiah as your Savior. And you are free to accept or to reject. But I cannot find better name than his name to invite you to. And this is the best mm -hmm. I have for you. So are you willing to accept the Messiah as your Savior? Uh, I, I, I am willing, but I allow me just to just to do my own research. Uh, okay, and I'll probably call you some some other time about no, this. No problem, my friend. I cannot force you. This is a personal choice, and uh, we pray that the Lord He will open your eyes and will will uh, uh, will bring you closer to Him. And you, you know, if the Lord He said, "Knock at the door, and I will open for you." So, all what you need to do. Just knock at his door and he will be there. And you will see that there is no sex with orphans. There is no uh, go and do this and that. And there is no boys and there is no all madness. God, God is not a, a, a sex vendor. Our God is holy. His name is holy. He's holy by nature. He's holy by the fruit. For holiness bring only holiness. And sure. dirt bring only dirt. That's true, that's true. So thank you for calling me. And if you change your mind about accepting the Messiah, feel free to say so anytime you wish. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, CP. And can I like uh, wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, if that means anything from me? Well, uh, you know, to say to us Merry Christmas, this is not, uh, but now you are out of Islam, so you can say it, you know. <laughs> it's haram for you to say, as a, this is one of the evil things about Islam. Why you can't say to somebody Merry Christmas? It's haram, it's haram. It's, you know, the devil is angry. I mean, what, what, okay, is somebody having a uh, holiday? Okay, say to him, be nice to him. Why, what's wrong? No, it, you cannot, you cannot, you know. So this is a religion you cannot accept to be, uh, like, does not even have a sense of a humanity. Even the Quran says it clearly, like, you know, a Muslim once he says, Jesus, he said, you have to hate. You have to hate your parents and love Jesus. But Jesus does not mean that uh, we have to hate them because Jesus said, even love your enemy. So how, how we would hate our parents? But Jesus but, said, you have to love me more than anything else. I've, I've been told that Christians are told to uh, also re reject their, their family as well if they want to follow Jesus Christ perfectly. No, actually, no, this is not what, uh, you see, the Bible make it clear. That if you even disobedience to your parents, the punishment is death. This is how tough the, the Old Testament is. So you don't reject your family, but in, your salvation is more important. As simple as that. If your family, they will hold you into uh, hell, then you, you, you choose salvation over hell. As simple as that. Yeah, but true. But I mean, if, if, uh, if I become a Christian, that means that I'm going to have to reject my my family correct no 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 you don't reject anyone that's not true even the bible allowed you if you are a person who is married to a non-christian stay with her because the bible don't want you to destroy your family and your marriage so you became a christian now and you have a wife she is a muslim you don't divorce her you can stay with her the bible is not allowing me to marry from non-muslim but if i was a muslim and i marry a muslim and then i became a christian then the bible allowed me to stay in such a relationship as marriage because simply god he is he, he is uh, he's all caring he don't want the children to, to 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 live in a chaos because of what happened so uh, uh we don't deny our family and we don't we don't we don't regret them actually the quran says that if you go in the quran in chapter 9 verse number 23 it says it clearly that you cannot take your father and your brother as a protectors or friends as long they are not believers and this is the same for the christian chapter 5 verse number 51 but this one as long as we are talking about family we will go to chapter 9 verse number 23 and i will show it to you in the screen in front of your eyes yeah. do you see it it's in arabic i, I can't understand arabic yeah sorry. it's in english now oh yeah you see it yep the translation here says protector but in fact, it's protector and friend. And by the way, protector is someone is more than a friend because somebody want to protect you. Not necessarily every friend protect you, correct? True. A protector is someone he love you more than someone he is just a friend because you might have a fight and you look around you, all your friends do not know you. Okay, I don't have no idea. I know, okay, I'll go. They close your eyes and they don't know, you know. But a protector is someone for sure he is willing to risk his life to defend you. So this is more than a friend.
So true, true. you cannot take your parents as a friend. You cannot take your father. You cannot take your, you know, your 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 brother. This I'm talking about your brother from your blood. True. So the Muslims they try to say we are the one who doing it, but you have to show me an example. Isn't it Jesus? He said, "Love your enemy." How Jesus says, "Love your enemy, bless those who curse you," and then at the same time says to me, uh, "Hate your family." So you have to take the the teaching into what it's meant. So. True. You you have to hate the whole world in the mean of you don't favor earth and the world over God. This is what salvation is about. You choose to be with God. It's very easy for me and you to be tempted and to do the wrong thing. So if we choose the temptation, we lose. If we choose the right thing, we win. So yeah. if you get tempted by even family, because your mother, she is not, she's a Muslim. Okay, but you love your mother. So what I will do now? It, oh, and if I leave this religion, my mother might might be angry for me, or even maybe she would hate me. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So now you have to choose which one is more favorable for you. The Bible is so clear that God is more important than all. But at the same time, the Bible is clear that you have to obey your parents, but you obey them in what is right and lawful, not in the wrong. Like, what if my parents order me to go and kill somebody? No, no. What if yeah, my parents order me to go and be a thief or to do work as a prostitute? So I obey my parents if they are righteous people. Same time, I love everybody, not only my parents, everybody around me, because Jesus, he ordered us to love everyone and even to bless those who curse us. Hey, so, CP, when you say Jesus, you mean like uh, Asa, right? From from the Quran. There's nothing that's called the Isa. Isa is a lie. There's nothing. We, we, we don't even know where Isa is coming from. If we ask the Muslims who is Isa, they don't know. What Isa mean? But it, uh, is, isn't Asa Jesus? Isn't he yeah, the but same? They say, they claim. But I mean, who is Isa? But obviously, Isa is the Quran, is not Jesus. Why? Because the Isa in the Quran is a son of a woman. Her name is Maryam, and her on, uh, and he have an uncle. His name is Aaron. <laughs> and who has a what? His name is Aaron. Aaron, oh. the, the brother of Musa's, and Musa's, oh, you know, yeah, Aaron, like, so there is, there is, there is a, a, a long, long, uh, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years between Mary and and uh, and uh, Musa's and Aaron. So how how they became, how he became his uncle, the Muslim they try to to defend that they say the prophet said. That they used to call them by their ancestor, but Mary, she is not from the ancestor of of Aaron. She is from different tribe. That is stupid to say. Secondly, the Muslim believe that the father of Musa's and the father of Aaron, because they are brother, both yeah. of them they have a father. His name is Umran, and this is what Mary, father in the Quran, name is Umran. So obviously, Muhammad, the false prophet, he was teaching his followers that Mary, she is the sister of. Aaron, why? Because he heard from the Jews. If we go in the Old Testament, we will see the Old Testament speaking about that there is a woman, her name is Maryam, and she is the sister of Aaron and the sister of Moses. So Muhammad, he cut the conclusion, okay, Maryam is the mother of Jesus, she is the sister of Aaron, and their father, his name is Umran. And that is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Oh, well, I can see that that plagiarism has... Uh taking over his pen well you know it's not it's not only that i mean he's this guy he claimed knowledge but uh, he's like uh, muhammad hijab was debating david wood uh, elijah mean god is with us you know yeah so if uh, if this guy now he claimed to be a prophet the muslim will believe it and they will repeat it until somebody get them busted true yeah you repeat a lie too many times and it becomes uh and becomes the truth afterwards yeah yeah you believe in the lie Oh well, well listen CP, thank you very much again and uh, listen, you've really like uh, shown me uh, another path. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long, but I mean obviously that threw me off once you start mentioning about the orphans and the sex and that happens after that. It's, uh, sorry, it's not for me. So, right, no yeah. Well, I'm happy for you that you decided to leave Islam and I will be happy more if you call me soon to say to me, I, will, I would like to accept the Messiah so we can share happiness with you. Okay, yep. Thank you very much. Take care. All the best. Okay, bye. All right.